simple. I'm your host, Dr. Boyd the Chemist. A statement was recently made that pepper spray is not a chemical irritant. So I'd like to just take a moment to explain to you what pepper spray is, as well as define for you what a chemical irritant is. Let me just start by saying that pepper spray is in fact a chemical irritant. In simple terms, a chemical is a substance that consists of matter that includes pure substances like elements as well as compounds. This means that even water, which consists of two hydrogens and one oxygen, is in fact a chemical. Now it can be easily argued that anything that we can physically eat, smell, feel, or breathe in is in fact a chemical. But you know what, I won't even get into that today. An irritant is defined as a substance that causes slight inflammation or bodily discomfort. Pepper spray is made up of chemicals that cause slight inflammation or bodily discomfort. Therefore, pepper spray is a chemical irritant. So what's in pepper spray that gives it that irritant quality? Well, the main active ingredient is a chemical called oleoresin capsicum, which is derived from capsaicin that comes from the fruit of plants in the capsicum family. It is this chemical that is also found in hot peppers that gives hot peppers that burning sensation that you feel when you eat them. But this chemical is much more concentrated in pepper spray than it is in a jalapeno pepper, for example. Pepper spray causes irritation in the eyes and in the lungs, and the effects can last for several hours. Also, as its name suggests, the oleoresin capsicum in pepper spray is an oil. Therefore, rinsing with water won't easily remove the irritant because oil and water don't mix. Now, if you ever have the unfortunate experience of being exposed to pepper spray, Here's what you can do to ease the symptoms. Don't touch the affected area because the pepper spray can be easily spread from one part of your body to another. Blink your eyes rapidly to flush out some of the spray. You can also put saline solution in your eyes as this will help you to flush out your eyes. Wash the area around your eyes with no tears baby shampoo. This will clean the area while preventing further eye irritation. Please note that I said to wash the area around your eyes with no tear shampoo, not your eyes directly. Wash your skin with soap and water to remove the pepper spray. I hope you found this video informational and helpful. And if so, Please do subscribe to the channel for more fun, informational, and fact-based science. I'll see you next time.